today I want to do something a little bit different. I actually want to review testimonial video for you. You can see here, I went on YouTube, I typed in fitness testimonial, I took it from there and watched it and just ran with it. So I'm going to go over, we're going to play this video and then we're just going to dissect it and break it down. So here we go. I first wanted to check out Planet Fitness because of the price, yep. but once I came in, I loved that it was uh, no judgment and I really love the classes um, that are here. And then of course the tanning and all the extra stuff with your um, 795 membership <laughs> is pretty cool. Let's we'll start with the things that are good, that I like about it. For a testimonial like this, where they're not specifically talking about results, short is good. If it were me doing this in a short testimonial, it would probably just be results based or like the biggest emotional thing where it would start off where it would just be, I was, let's say X pounds overweight, couldn't get it off. I came here and now I've done this in this amount of time, short and sweet, like a short testimonial. In a 20 second testimonial, in this case, gonna wanna change what the positioning is of the video itself. Other thing that has done that as well, is if you notice up under her shirt, under right below her chin here, this little black thing, they put a microphone on her, which is great. So we can actually hear what she has to say. Most of the testimony videos are used, you, know, you take out a phone, there's noise in the background, all kinds of stuff banging. There wasn't much of that in the background here, which was great. The other thing is good, is she's standing in front of a window. Standing in front of a window, there's light on her. We can see her. It's not all shadows. It's not anything crazy where it's hard to see her. And for what her type of story is, the shorter actually kind of works for this. And she's got a little peppy of personality, which was good. The other thing is if we fast forward in this, so this right here is called the B-roll. This is a video that they lay over top of it. Now, in this case, the B-roll or secondary footage is good because the B-roll is of the actual client who's doing the exercising. And then there's one other thing that happened that I saw which was good is at the end, they at least had a logo or something along those lines. Let's go back to the things where there are issues with this. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna play just the first two seconds of it and I want you to listen. I first wanted to check out Planet Fitness because of the price, but once I- So here's the issue with this. Yes, she has a microphone. We can hear her voice. That's a good thing because if not, we would never been able to hear her voice because the music, the level on the music is way too loud. Also, if we're trying to enhance someone's story, you want to have that music match what their story is. She's got a peppy personality, so I can understand that music that they picked was kind of peppy, but it's wrong. There's a disconnect with the type of music that's here that is playing along with what her story is. And also the level of music is way too loud. The other thing, if you notice where she's standing, she's standing in front of their cardio section where there's dozens and dozens of bikes, and there's treadmills. If you take any one of your clients and you start doing a testimonial in front of a section where it's just like that, they are never going to be able to share that story. They're never going to be able to open up for the simple fact that they're thinking about what all these other people are looking at they're looking at them. It's uncomfortable. So they're going to be awkward. It's going to shut them down. Put your clients in a comfortable position in a smaller room that's co cozy, comfortable. That way you get them to open up. Some people will say, well, I like that. So that way we can see the gym. We can do all that. If you're a fitness company, for example, and you're using a testimonial, they know that you're a gym. You don't have to show it with them standing in the middle of it. You can actually overlay it as B-roll during their story when they're talking about the facility and it's used in the right spot. Just use the right B-roll in the right place and you're good. There is also so one other thing that I mentioned at the end here, we talked about is good at their logo. And this is a mistake that 99% of businesses, not even just the fitness industry make, is that there's no call to action. Give me a phone number. Give me who to contact. Give me an email. Give me something to grab. Tell me what to do at the end of this. And you can have it even during in the middle of the video if you want. Have a call to action on there. Most of the big brands don't do anything like this. So make sure that you do.